Hey everybody, Tom Joya from Visionary Music Group here. We're continuing with our series of our top five favorite plugins. Today we're going to talk about our top five favorite mix bus plugins. Here we go. Number one, the Vertigo VSC2. This is a VCA style compressor. Gives you the feeling of the SSL compressor. It's a little less aggressive than that. Sounds great, a little more hi-fi. Sort of like if you took the best of the Red Focusrite and the SSL and put them together. The Vertigo VSC2 compressor. Second favorite plugin on our Mixbus plugin list, the Greg Wells Mixcentric by Waves. So this is a one knob plugin and it has input and output controls. We tried it, dug it, I've set it on three and that seems to be the sweet spot I mix into it. It does something really great to the lower mid-range and it's very reasonably priced, super easy to use, the Greg Wells Mixcentric plugin by Waves. Top mix bus plugin number three, the Manly Massive Passive EQ. You can add a little high end, a little low end, any other frequencies you're choosing in there, doesn't hurt it, it gives the feeling of a wide Pultec band, but it can be more surgical. It just adds a nice quality to the overall mix bus without being harsh. The UAD Manly Massive Passive EQ. Our number four of our top five mix bus plugins, the Brainworks Plugin Alliance BX V2 or V3 EQ. What I really like about this EQ is it's a mid-side EQ, so you can fix issues you have on the outsides of the stereo spectrum and things in the center and mono. But my favorite thing is about this is the stereo width control. We usually set it on 110, somewhere in there, and then blow up the choruses. We can go as high as 141, and it really doesn't sound phasing. It really widens up the stereo image. So the brain works BX V2 or V3 digital EQ. And our number five of our top five plugins for our mix bus, the FabFilter Pro L2 limiter. Everything FabFilter makes are really great plugins, and this one is always next to last in our mix bus chain. We can use it to keep us from peaking if we have any overs or if we make any mistake, we get a little rambunctious with the ride, it will take care of that. And you can also use it to boost up your volume when you give your client a mix and you want it to have a little effect of sounding master. The FabFilter Pro L2 limiter. And we want to give an honorable mention to the Brainworks Plugin Alliance adapter. It's a metering tool, but it does so much more. You can meter your levels, you can meter your frequency response, you can meter the loudness, you can meter your spatial elements to see if something is true stereo, if you're getting a stereo spread. But one of my favorite things that it gives you is you can upload your mixes that you want to use for reference right into the plugin, then you can gain match them with your mix. So if they're mastered and yours isn't mastered, you won't have to worry about volume dancing with it. And then you can use the AB button in one button, compare the two. And what's really cool is not only can you compare the two, but you can compare the frequency graphs, you can compare the stereo graphs, all the other things it can, it can do for you metering wise, they can be compared. So you can compare your reference to yours in, on all those levels. So that's our top five favorite mix bus plugins. These are just the ones we seem to use every day. So if you have something you dig, please hit us up in the comments, let us know. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe. We appreciate your support. Hit the like button and definitely ring that notification bell so we can let you know when we have more content like this available. See you on the next video.